everyone, Miss Jean here. Are you ready for another mini adventure in Discovery Mountain? Well, it's a clear, brisk morning. The sun has barely risen, but Officer Lewis is already up and in the kitchen getting ready. He and Logan are going to have an adventurous day together. Let's listen and see what they have planned in today's mini adventure called Father Sunday. Let's see, I've got bottles of water, two thermoses of hot cocoa. Oh good, Logan remembered to set his alarm. Good morning, Stormy. I suppose since I'm in the kitchen, you think I should be feeding you. Logan, quit snoozing your alarm. It's time to get up. All right, Stormy, you win. Coming right up. Okay now, Louis, focus. Assignment sandwiches. Lettuce, tomato, really? He hit the snooze again? Logan, it's time to get up. It's past time. Uh, it's so early. Come on, son. We want to be the first at the lake to grab a good fishing spot. Uh, a few more minutes, please. No way. There are fish just waiting for us to find them. Listen, can you hear them? Come on and get us, Logan. <laughs> all right, all right. Now hurry, get ready, and remember your coat. There's still snow on the ground where we're going. Okay, Dad. Four and a half minutes later, Logan was all ready and was helping his dad load their fishing gear into the car. He shivered in the crisp morning air. Brr, I didn't think it was going to be this cold today. I was expecting a nice sunny day. Oh, it'll warm up. But right now, the sun is barely peeking up over the trees. And it'll be even colder up at the lake, won't it? Will the fish be too cold to bite? No way. Come on, let's hit the road. Go faster, Dad. We want to be the first ones at the lake. Don't worry. We haven't seen any of the cars yet. And I can't speed. Even on your day off, you're still Officer Lewis. Yes, sir. Dad, wait! Slow down! But you just told me not to slow down. Look up ahead. What's that in the road? Oh, it looks like a fox. We wouldn't want to hit such a beautiful creature, would we? It's just trotting down the middle of the road. It must not see us. I think I'll pull ahead a little. Once we get closer to him, I'm sure he'll get off the road and then we can get back up to speed. I don't think it's working. Well, I don't dare get any closer. He didn't even look back when we came up behind him. It's like he doesn't even care that we're here. I thought for sure he'd run off into the trees by now. He doesn't seem to be in any hurry, does he? No, he doesn't. <sighs> it feels like we're just crawling up the road. At this rate, we won't get to the lake till noon. Don't worry. I don't think our fox will stay on the road that long. You didn't think he'd stay in the road this long either. Good point. Come on, you silly fox. Get out of the road. Patience, Logan. How often does this ever happen? Let's appreciate him. He's one of God's creatures. I suppose so. Seriously, when was the last time you were this close to a fox? Um, never? It is kind of pretty, isn't it? His colors are beautiful in this light. And look. He's trotting off the road and into the trees. Finally, hit the gas pedal, Dad. You got it. Whoa, not time to speed up yet. What's wrong? Why do you stop? Look at the curve right in front of us. Yeah, what about it? That's black ice. Black ice? It's a thin coat of ice that blends in with the pavement. It's nearly impossible to see until you're right in front of it. Good thing we were going so slow. If you'd been driving any faster, we might have slid off the road. Yes, indeed. But the only reason I was going so slow was because of that fox. Until that fox appeared, I was driving just as fast as I could without actually breaking the law. What are you saying, Dad? You think God sent that fox to slow us down? Why not? It wouldn't be the first time God used an animal to save someone's life. Remember Balaam and his donkey? Oh yeah, he was a greedy prophet who accepted a bribe to curse the children of Israel. 
That's right. Balaam was in a hurry to go pronounce a curse on Israel and to collect the king of Moab's reward. But the donkey he was riding refused to budge. And Balaam got so angry, he started hitting the poor animal. And what happened then? The donkey talked. She asked Balaam why he was hitting her. And Balaam was so angry, he didn't stop to wonder how a donkey could talk. Instead, he actually answered her. That's right. The donkey was trying to save Balaam's life. Balaam couldn't see the angel in the road ahead of him, an angel holding a sword, but the donkey could. That's why she refused to move. After God opened Balaam's eyes, Balaam was sorry, and he blessed the Israelites instead of cursing them. We were kind of angry with that fox, or at least we were pretty annoyed. But he might have been trying to save us all along. Why are you pulling over? Because as anxious as we are to start fishing, there's something we need to do first. What's that? Let's pray, Logan. Lord, we want to thank you for sending your fox to help us today. We didn't anticipate there would be black ice on the street, but you sent that creature. Well, this Father Sunday turned out a little differently than expected, didn't it? Do you think God sent the fox to trot down the middle of the road so that Officer Lewis would have to slow down? It certainly kept them safe when they got into that icy corner, didn't it? You know, the story of Balaam in Numbers chapter 22, it says that God was unhappy with Balaam's actions, and he sent an angel to stop him from going to curse the Israelites. Balaam's donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road three times, and three times she refused to walk past the angel. And three times Balaam got very angry. He had no idea she was trying to save his life. Do you ever get frustrated when something slows you down? Well, the next time it happens, instead of getting angry or frustrated, think of Balaam or think of the fox on the road in front of Officer Lewis and Logan. It's just possible that God might be slowing you down for a reason too. I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to a mini adventure in Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Visit us at discoverymountain.com to send us a message and listen to full episodes on demand. Discovery Mountain is a production of The Voice of Prophecy. Father Sunday was written by Janice Nelson and was supervised by director Doug's very own cat and editing companion, Allie.